believe it just running game sounds. So, I wish I could see a chat. I could chat with the chat, but it's kind of far away. I don't have great vision. So, I'm just going to talk about nothing much. So, we are actually going to switch over to Brawl Pools rather than Melee. The switch is happening soon, but for now, I guess we are yeah, still so, on Yeah, so we, we do have one for now. It's Harriet versus Vector Man. Okay. So, we've got Harriet the guy. I'm pretty sure his actual name is Harriet. Plays Fox. And we have the other Yoshi that made it out of the first stage of pools, Vector Man. Two Yoshis out of pools. That's two more Yoshis than normally make it out of pools. Now it is uh, in loser's half. The Vector Man had the sad day misfortune of running into Mewtwo King in his first round of pools. And I talked to him about it, and he just seems... Well, I don't know. I guess he seemed kind of accepting of the whole thing. Like, yep. That's what happens. Mewtwo King, Mr. Counterpick himself, using Sheik against any low tier he encounters, and then mixing up between Sheik, Fox, and Marth for the either high tiers. He's all matchup, and if he doesn't know a matchup, he plays Sheik and he just, just is a better character at you until he wins, so. That was tough, so here we are in losers. Fox vs. Yoshi. Talking about this matchup, it's actually surprisingly good for Yoshi relative to his spot on the tier list, because his double jump is super hard for Fox to break. He can't break it with shines. So unless he burns his double jump in some horrible place, he's not going to get shine spiked. But he is fairly easy to wave shine combo. Um, the Vector Man is very good at parrying. So his shield game is actually very solid, and he has a good grasp of shield dropping, which is one of the only ways that Yoshi has mobility from his shield. So when you see him in a platform shielding and then he falls through, that's a pretty tricky technical maneuver that is very good for counter-hitting people who try and poke you. And there's not even a point to poking at Yoshi since you can't shield stab him anyhow. Talking about what's actually in front of us. We have Harriet the Guy dominating center stage, has quite a hefty lead, but one of the things that's uh, well it's exciting about the matchup is that if Vector Man can put Fox on the ground, hit a jab reset, start getting DJC up airs, you're going to see a ton of damage tacked on in the blink of an eye. And this is Dreamland Yoshi, is one of the heaviest characters in the game. Ooh, gets the shine right out of Vector Man's shield drop. Very impressive. And that right there, the increased weight from having uh, the double jump active for Yoshi allows him to survive an up smash that would have killed anybody else in the air. So, again, the matchup, bad because Fox is better. But at the same time, ooh, and Vector Man dropping his shield drops, not getting those. Gets the tech chase, DJC up air to the ground, and he drops it. No double jump, can't make it back. That's it for V-Man's for stock games. He pauses. Might be a controller reset. And if one of the players is on the spawning platform, no one's recovering, nothing, nothing like that is happening, you are permitted to pause for technical reasons. Been a few too many uh, interesting like rules lawyers trying to get people DQ'd for very innocuous pauses. Ooh, and right now V-Man just, he's not getting his opium things, and uh, for Harriet, for his part, is actually abusing the tip range of almost all of Fox's aerials to maximum effect. Anytime V-Man has an aerial out, he's doing an excellent job of keeping the spacing perfect. And he's not biting on a lot of stuff. He's not falling into Yoshi traps. He's willing to play with the space of Dreamland, which I assume is why I picked it. And having burned his up B and his double jump, the Vector Man can't possibly make it back from that distance. So he just egg rolls off the side. He did a good job of uh, double jump armoring through that pack here, but not able to get what he wanted. Ooh. And Egg Sniper. Gonna take his first stock of the game. So he's starting to move a lot more cleanly than he was at the start. Getting his confidence back or the controller reset actually made a big difference. But look at Harriet. Maintaining a spacing specific to the platform, not even watching V-Man, just assuming he is going to use those platforms and spacing around that, and then reacting in perfect time with the back air. Fox's back air, one of the most high priority moves in the game, ridiculously good at what it does. And the dodge coming out. Vector Man, really efficient for those down throws. They're super good against spaces for setting up his big damage combos. And that right there, the power of the armor, double jump. No jump from Fox. He gets the Egg Knight, but with the uh, fire armor from the Firefox there, there is really nothing he can do except go onto the stage. And, ooh, nice attempt at Jukes. 
but Harriet is a patient man. I wouldn't have hung out in my shield that long. I'd have jumped out and gotten hit, but then again, that's why I quit Fox years ago and switched to Infinite and Vector Man Suicides. Hate to see that kind of thing happen. It's not how you want matches to end. So now, V-Man's options, he loves platforms for counter picks, so he's not going to take him to FD. If he wants size for the stage, uh, Battlefield will be his best bet. If he wants platform combos, tangling, and uh, limiting Harriet's options, then I would predict him to go to Fountain of Dreams instead. I don't know how much he likes that level. Opsa enjoys it. I doubt he'll take it to Yoshi's Story. And he does go to Battlefield. One of, wants to work with room and wait. Plus, if he, uh, if he does shuffle Fox off the level, it's going to afford him some advantage because Fox won't have a ledge to ride when using his up B. And Harriet, wow, big damage combo, and he caught it out of the DJC, meaning Yoshi's recovery was nil, and a good choice to finish it with the down smash, send him out at the lowest angle possible. And it's really important in this matchup catching Yoshi out of his double jump, because he's invincible yeah. right there. More or less, he'll take damage, yeah. but he won't have knockback for a certain amount. And D-Man yeah. with another sad death. This is Ooh. actually, this is what characterized his performance at EVO last year, was making a lot of suicides and having a really rough time dealing with the pressure of space animals when it came to tournament. He knows what to do when he opens them up, but he's been making more mistakes than his uh, ordinary practice regimen suggests. Oh, and you can crouch cancel that at that percent? That's insane. Yeah. Ridiculous. So in case anyone's right. wondering who the phantom voice is, joining me on the mic is MoFat. Hello, everybody. Come to keep me from lonely casting and getting caught in mouth from talking too much for an hour. No double jump for Vector Man. Harriet knows it. All right, hey, with three stocks to one right now, at zero percent, this is a very, very solid re uh, lead. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a hopeless idealist. <laughs> I know that the situation is grim, but this is a game about big damage combos. And if Vector Man's able to make technical errors, then so can Harriet. But Harriet's That's been right. playing just insanely solid, extremely... One problem, a lot of... <gasps> and that's it. Yeah, it seems like Vector ah. Man... Oh, was that, was that game two yep, there? That was game two. Oh, man. What a... That's just such a sad way to see it end. I don't even have words, really. I'm just, I feel so bad for him. Tim works extremely hard on his tech skill. And you know, on the subject of space animals that play outside their tech range, 